Excellent! So I am in San Francisco this week, and last night I had a chance to attend a press conference held by AMD where they discussed some further details about Zen, their brand new CPU microarchitecture that is much anticipated. They've been working on it for quite some time. And according to the CEO, Lisa Su, and the CTO, Mark Papermaster, Zen is uh, brand new, of course, completely built from the ground up, and they are focusing on a few different things. Re-establishing themselves in the gaming market, which they've already done a pretty big push recently with the Radeon side, immersive platforms such as VR, as well as re-establishing themselves in the data center. Now, AMD had some very specific goals with Zen. They wanted to be able to design high-performance desktop CPUs, as well as mobile CPUs for laptops and notebooks. Uh, they also included better branch prediction in the architecture, uh, a micro-operation cache, instruction-level parallelism, 75% more scheduling capacity, and 50% more scheduling width and execution resources. All this information, of course, is provided directly by AMD. We haven't been able to do any independent testing ourselves, so grain of salt, but what they have shown is pretty impressive. They've added an 8 megabyte L3 cache. They've given five times the improvement in cache capacity and bandwidth. They've introduced SMT, simultaneous multi-threading, which simply put, is basically Intel's hyper-threading, but done by AMD. This will allow the CPUs to take advantage of downtime and unused clock cycles by allowing the operating system to identify two actual threads for each individual core. It's based on 14 nanometer FinFET design, and they are touting 50% higher frequency using the same power, at least at the ideal point on the frequency power curve. Efficiency, they say, was a goal from the ground up, and according to what they're telling us, it's pretty damn impressive. 40% performance gain versus Excavator, which is their last uh, iteration of their previous architecture, using the same energy per cycle. Guys, that is a really impressive performance game, and efficiency is incredibly important whether you're talking about notebooks or data center use, so that is a really nice spec. The actual CPU that they're showing off is codenamed Summit Ridge. This is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU based on AM4 platform, which is the new platform for these CPUs, DDR4, PCI Express Gen 3, and Next Gen IO, which we're not exactly sure what it is, but probably Thunderbolt and NVMe support, for example. They didn't just tell us specs, though. They actually showed us a side-by-side -side performance demonstration using Blender to render a scene versus Broadwell E. So this is what we can assume is a 6900K, which is also an 8-core, 16-thread chip, both CPUs were clocked to 3 GHz, so they had the same amount of cores and the same frequency. And basically they're showing us that with the same clocks and the same number of threads, the Summit Ridge chip actually outperformed Broadwell E just by a hair, maybe a second or two margin. But again, really impressive if Zen is on par on an instructions per clock level with Broadwell E. That is impressive. Now we're told that the actual frequency for Summit Ridge CPUs is expected to be higher than 3 GHz, but good to know it can at least do that, hopefully, preferably more. And then the TDP was the final question. That is still unknown. We're told it's very competitive, but they're not giving specifics yet. Now there's a new chipset for Summit Ridge. We don't know too many details about it other than that next-gen IO comment, but they actually had machines up and running. So even though these are really, really early samples that are pretty much mocked up just to do demonstrations and testing, green PCBs, all that stuff, it was cool to finally see an AM4 motherboard in person. They also introduced Naples, which is their server platform. They had a motherboard demonstrating that. It looked kind of like an ATI motherboard for some reason, but two processors on that, so we should expect to see some nice performance, hopefully, on the server side as well. And then they had some demos going on, so they were showing Zen plus VR using an RX 480. They had a gaming demo. They were playing Deus Ex Mankind Divided at 4K using Zen with a Fury X workstation demo with a Radeon Pro Duo that was just kind of there to see it. They didn't really do anything with it. And then, of course, that two-processor server which just, uh, it, it's, it's cool looking. I know it's a server system, but I thought it was pretty cool looking. Anyway, they're expecting to roll out these chips, at least the Summit Ridge that they teased, at the end of 2016. Possibly a small launch at the end of 2016, but they're promising us them by Q1 of 2017 at the latest. We should expect Zen Notebooks by the second quarter of 2017, and we should expect the Naples platform to start rolling out in the second quarter of 2017. There's still some questions rolling around. TDP, of course, is a big one. Uh, we need to know how much power these CPUs are actually drawing, and uh, that still remains to be seen, though. And then I asked if they were planning to have any uh, AM4 mini ITX motherboards, because that's something we've been missing from the mainstream platform for AMD for a while. They said most likely, I don't know, probably, they said we'll have them available in a wide variety of forms factors, which I took to mean probably, but they don't want to absolutely confirm that yet. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.